वेलकम बैक फोर्टीन कोडर्स लेट्स बिल्ड सम कोडिंग मसल्स टुडे वी गोना सी अ क्वेश्चन मिनिमम कॉस्ट टू रीच डेस्टिनेशन ऑन टाइम सो वी हैव गिवन अ ग्राफ हियर ओके सो वी आर गिवन जीरो एज स्टार्टिंग नोड एंड फाइव एज डेस्टिनेशन नोड एंड द एजेस आर रिप्रेजेंटिंग द टाइम टू मूव फ्रॉम वन नोड टू अनदर एंड वी ऑल्सो गिवन अ पासिंग फी वैक्टर सो एवरी टाइम वी पास अ नोड वी हैव टू पे दिस फीस ओके and the question is we have to reach the destination from starting point in minimum cost possible okay and also we have given a max time the total time which we take in our traversal should be less than equals to max time so we have these two conditions okay now let's see we have our two conditions minimum possible cost and time should be less than equals to max time while traversing you can observe here if we have only condition number 2 then this problem will be of simple diastra right but because we have a cost right we have to minimize the cost in every step so that's why in our priority queue or in our diastra the first component should be cost based on the cost we will sort a priority queue okay or min heap now one more thing so if you See, let's have three nodes. Node number zero, one, and two. If we move from two to one or zero to one, the cost of passing this node will be same, okay? But the time will be different to reach from both our nodes. So the edge relaxation will be for time. Now let's see in the graph. Let's mark the passing fee for each node. For node zero, it's five. For one, it's one. For two, it's two. For three and four, it's twenty. And for five, it's three. Okay. Now let's move. If we move from zero to three, then four to five, then our cost will be five plus twenty plus twenty plus three will be forty-eight, right? And time will be twenty-six. And if you move from five to three, five one two and three, then cost will be five plus one plus two plus three eleven, and time will be thirty. If you see carefully, the time taken in the first case is greater than the second case but the cost is less so we will prefer the first path but there is a catch if the maximum time given is let's say 28 okay then we have to reject the first path even the cost is less okay so we will compute the minimum cost during traversal but if our time will exceed the maximum time given then we will stop the exploration from that node and explore from some other node okay so we got three observations from here in priority queue the first element should be the cost and then time and node and then we will do edge relaxation based on the time and we will check for the max time in during the edge relaxation so let's see in the code how we going to do it we are given the edge vector so we will make the edge sensitivity list i will leave it up to you okay In edge sensitivity list, we will have neighboring node and time for each node. Okay, now let's create a vector to for minimum time keeping. Okay, we will do rela edge relaxation for this using this no uh, vector. Let's take the number of nodes equals to passing fee dot size. Okay, now let's define our priority queue with the vector of integer. Okay, it will be a min heap. let's push the uh, passing fee for the starting node the starting node time and the starting node so course time and node okay now we will also mark the minimum time of node 0 equals to 0 now let's start start our traversal while peak is not empty we will get the node right pop it cost will be top 0 the time will be top 1 and the node will be top 2 Okay, now we check if we reached our node or node is equals to n n n minus one, then we will return the cost directly from here. Okay, or else we will traverse. Okay, in using adjacent cell list for the node, we'll get the neighboring node and the time for it. We'll calculate the new time will be time of node plus t, and new cost will be cost plus the passing fee of the neighboring node. Okay. now we'll check the condition if the new time is less than or equals to max time 
this is our first condition right it should be less than the max time and if the new time is less than the minimum time of the neighboring node then we will relax it and assign the minimum time of neighboring node equals to new time okay and also we will push it into the priority queue the new cost the new time and the neighboring node and that's it guys just a slight modification in the diastra and at the end if we don't find our node then we will return minus one let's revise this question we have to go from start to destination in minimum cost possible and time taken should be less than the max time given in our priority queue we will pass a vector and the first element of the vector will be the cost and we will relax the edges based on the time and we saw the code for it very similar to diastra just a little bit of modification in priority queue right cost will be the first element in the vector and the edge relaxation will be done based on time right so that's all from my side guys thank you for listening if you have any questions please mention them into the comment box you will find the problem and the solution link into the description box okay if you don't understand don't like don't subscribe but if you do please show some support keep smiling keep practicing thank you